Why is COVID-19 prioritized over other infectious diseases? Not sure if this is the right shay for this question. The COVID-19 outbreak has been dominating the news recently, with loads of headlines and efforts being made to stop it from spreading. Why this disease? It's not one of the most lethal ones, or one of the deadliest. Compare, COVID-19 infected 24,478, deaths 492 malaria, infected 228 million, deaths 405,000, 2018 data, tuberculosis, infected 25% of world population, i.e. approximately 2 billion, deaths 1.6 million, 2017 data, HIV, AIDS, infected 37.9 million, 1.7 million new cases a year, deaths 770,000, 2018 data, Compared to malaria, tuberculosis and HIV, AIDS, the COVID-19 outbreak is pretty much a rounding error. In terms of lethality, COVID-19 has a case fatality rate of 1.4 to 6.5%. This is still well below the lethality of tuberculosis 43% and HIV, AIDS 80 to 90% after 5 years if untreated, although it is more lethal than malaria approximately 0.3%. It seems like, objectively, COVID-19 is a very small fish in the pond of infectious diseases. It's not like the three diseases above are unique either, there are lots more diseases that affect and kill more people than NCOV e.g. measles, leishmaniosis. Yet, right now, when people die of COVID-19 they make the news, while thousands of people die of the other three diseases every day without getting a mention. Further, COVID-19 is apparently attracting lots of research efforts to treat it. Why is it being prioritized over other infectious diseases? I'm looking for objective answers as to why COVID-19 matters so much. The short answer to this question is that 2019 NCOV is new. All the other diseases you mentioned are known quantities, epidemiologists have a good idea how they behave, how they spread, what is likely to happen in a variety of different scenarios, etc. But this disease represents a new mutation that behaves differently from other coronaviruses. It's far more transmissible than other coronaviruses, and worse, seems to be transmissible through casual contact, not intimate contact, blood or fluid exposure, not through an intermediary vector like a tick or flea. Currently the death toll is low, but researchers simply do not have enough data to know whether that trend will continue. Remember, the death rate of influenza is lower than that of this coronavirus. The 1958 and 1967 influenza pandemics had death rates of about 0.1%, and the 1918 pandemic had a death rate of about 2.5% asterisk. But those pandemics killed millions, because they were so transmissible they infected hundreds of millions. If the coronavirus follows that pattern and turns pandemic, we might expect to see any city of a million or so people suffer 20,000 to 30,000 deaths over the course of a couple of months, say 400 to 500 per days, which is a huge number of people dying by any calculus. Discretion is definitely the better part of valor, here.